This is a second video for morning sunshine and putting your fingers down on your violins. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just have my violin to start with. I'm going to put it in rest position. I'm going to make sure I've got my feet slightly apart. I'm going to hold it nicely round here. I'm going to stop the traffic, pop it on my head, on my shoulder, turn my chin round and I'm going to make a nice tickle here with my fingers. Now if you put your fingers Let's just have a little practice of putting your fingers curvy round on each string and then whoosh your hand back to the pegs and if you have a little star at the bottom of your first finger that lines up with your violin I can't really show you there it is you see my the crease of my hand is just touching but not tight, just very gently touching the side of the violin. Then what I need to do is just curl my fingers around so I can see my friendly face. And then nice and soft. My thumb is not poking up over the top, just down. And I've got a little hole for mousy. So check you've got all those things ready before you start. Then what we can do is if you find your D string, and let's just do it with plucking. So make an L shape with your right hand, put your thumb in the corner of the black bit, the fingerboard, and use the first finger plucking over the black bit for the plucking bit. And then what I can do is go from D, so I'm a little monkey, so I'm a little monkey climbing up the ladder, and I'm going to go up to my second finger on the D string. All right, and that's our starting finger. So we're going to start with two, 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 one, 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 two, 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 three, 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 two, 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 one, 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 D, D, one, one, D, D. And then there's another little introduction for the A string. So you need to get your fingers ready now to play on the A string. So let's just find your second finger. Make sure you put it down quite firmly on the string, not too tight, nothing should be too tight, but just firmly. Uh, otherwise it'll sound like this, which is a sort of yucky note. And we don't want a yucky note. We just want to push, if you push it down a little bit harder, you should hear that ringing sound. All right, so you're, if you're doing this on the A string, let's just work up. So that's going to be your starting note, which is your second finger on the A string. Uh, ready, off, oh no, let's do, like, let's do that again. Ready, steady, off we go. Now if you try it, really practice doing it with pizzicato, with your fingers, making sure you've got a beautiful hand position, then you can try it with a bow. So don't rush it, don't start with a bow before you're really sure you've got your fingers sounding really good. So I'll just play it to you once with a bow without the backing track. So <clears throat> I'm going to get my bow, I'm going to check my bendy thumb. Check I've got a nice bow hold. I'm going to land at my balance point, which is the point where the bow doesn't waver from side to side. It's nicely balanced, so it's just a little bit further up from where you're holding it. I'm going to start here between the bridge and the black bit, and I'm going to put my bow on the D string. I'm going to work my fingers up so I'm ready. And I'm going to go one and two and off I go. Then you move your bow onto the A string. 
you put your fingers down, two fingers ready, and you do exactly the same on the A string. So I hope that goes well. Don't forget your last two notes are nice long bows in this piece, so make sure you use as much bow as possible on those last long notes. Have fun!